Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and welcome to another episode. Today is not the SSRT, no no no, I'm going to let you guys have some time to go ahead and uh, resubmit your crafts and uh, according to the guidelines that are underneath the description inside the uh, recent SSRT video. This is actually something I've been working on, well I think you saw it, about the colony ship to Duna. Carbon is destroyed by meteor. is meteorological, is that right? Is that, is that the word I want to use? Meteorolog meteorological event? Nah, I'm probably saying it wrong. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is I am building stuff to build a colony on Duna. Not, not, uh, it's like, it's more like an actual colony game. I've got, and I'm going to write down some house rules so make the, make the game more fun. Basically, um, you have your trucks, you have your robo miners, you have your satellites that you select to bring with you on the way to Duna, which will help you find resources and whatnot. Then there's Agricultural Dome Factory. Yes, there is mods to this game. Snacks being one of them. Uh, I forget which uh, which other ones I have right now. Oh, um, something about building stuff using materials and ores and metals and refining that. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to build several different things that you can bring along in your colony ship. Now for those of you who don't remember the colony ship, but it has several compartments around the colony ship that allow you to pick which, what kind of things you want to bring. Do you want to bring communication, ore scanners, all this jazz. This one is a little itty bitty rover that has the ability to pinpoint uh, the most richest, richest uh, ore spot. So we're going to go ahead and give it a little test because I don't really know how well it's going to work. I mean, I've tested it up to this point, but I recently did some, um, some, uh, uh, fuck. Modifications. Shit. H. Okay, so it's going to open up on the side of our colony ship. If we have selected this. Because, like I said, I'm going to make a whole bunch of different things. And only so much room on the colony ship. So you have to select what you want. Right? It's going to be one of those things that if you, uh, depending on your choices, will depend whether or not you survive first couple of rounds. Alright, space bar? Yes? Whoa, what's going on? Bracket key. Alright, that's what's going on. Okay, uh, I, 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 what the fuck? Now get us out of here. No, other way. <laughs> Very w Whoa! It's shivering. Why is it shivering? Is it, is it the wheels? What is going on? <laughs> Why didn't I just use one engine? I don't know. It looked cool with four. Although this is kind of going into it. Maybe I can fix that somehow. Instead of using two of these, maybe I'll just use four of the little circle ones. Alright, so let's do this. Hopefully the way it's designed, it will write itself. Come on. All the weights at the bottom. There you go. That is freaking weird. Looks like water. <sighs> Until KSP comes out with actual cloud generation, which it probably never will, we have to rely on mods. And it's a good mod. I'm not bashing it. Except for the fact it's liquid clouds. Alright, any day now. There she goes. Yeah, so the whole premise is behind what I'm going to be doing in the future after we get done with SSRT is building a Duna colony and having to deal with production, food, and of course the colony will grow. Uh, I don't know if there's a mod out there that allows you to have Kerbals just spontaneously pop up in your colony. If there is, that'd be great to find out. If not, then we're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, which is throw a um, couple of Kerbals on top of there using Hyper Edit and pretending that, hey, they were born and there, you know, there for whatever. Come on, there we go. Nice and gentle. Perfect blending. Well, let's go ahead and see if this works. O.M. Goodness. Well, <laughs> that was not supposed to happen that way. Alright. You might, you know, I just might just well as make it freaking confetti because it always has fucking issues. And spacebar. What in the world? You better not tip over. I will be so pissed if you tip over. Oh, come on! 
<clears throat> right. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and uh, I'll try to fix that in a later episode. This is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, tomorrow I will be looking at some of the new SSRT craft files that will be coming in, and we will go on for there, and we'll try to finish that SSRT uh, program. We'll try to finish that SSRT program this week, hopefully. It might go into next week, but we'll see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I am Veos, and I'll see you all in the next video. Signing off.